It's day three of my Every Isotope Ozone 10 plug-in reviewed series, and today we're looking at the vintage tape effect. If you're looking to add the famous tape sound to your master, this could be the plugin for you. It's subtle, but let's see if it's worth it. But first, please like and subscribe, it really helps the channel. And use my affiliate link below at Plugin Boutique to grab their crazy deals. Vintage Tape is a fairly simple plugin, but Isotope have taken great steps to carefully match the main elements of tape that make it so distinctive. Let's go through the parameters in order. So the first thing to know is, if you insert this plugin at its default setting, it's like running a mix into a precisely calibrated Studer A810 two-track tape deck. The sound is quite transparent, which makes sense as a perfectly calibrated 30 IPS tape machine should sound essentially transparent. You can hear that this is working though if I switch the tape speed to the lower settings. We can hear some of the highs roll off, which is to be expected at lower tape settings. Tons of records were recorded at 7 and 15 IPS tape speeds back before approximately the 70s, and that warm sound can be very desirable. So choose 15 IPS if you want a warmer, classic sound. You can also compensate for the rolled off lows in a couple of ways, which we'll get to shortly. Just because the input is at zero, doesn't mean that there's no saturation occurring. Quite the opposite. As I mentioned, at the default drive setting, this tape machine is already doing its thing. But we can drive it a bit more to increase the harmonic content, and ideally add a thicker sound to the mix. The drive is gain compensated, by the way, so you don't have to worry about balancing the output when you drive it. A nice feature. I can start to hear the bottom thicken up a bit by the time we're halfway up the fader. Oh yeah, I can hear that. And in the last 20%, we'll hear that grumbling saturation kick in. Congratulations, you've pushed it too far. Unless you're going for a real push tone, which you might want, depending on the genre, let's pull it down a bit. Kind of liked it there. Next, we have bias, which allows you to adjust the frequency response curve of the saturation. All you need to know is that lowering the bias to negative values will boost high frequency content, whereas positive values will boost low end content. Lowering the bias is one way you could add high-end back to the mix if you're working at 15 or 7 IPS, for example. Yes, yeah, so there's quite a lot of high-end when this is low. And check that out. The highs are just gone. So yeah, adjust this to taste. This allows you to simply add even order harmonics to the signal. Most often you can leave this at zero. Frankly, I can't hear much difference with this on, but experiment to taste. low and high emphasis. Now we're getting into the fun stuff. The low emphasis allows us to accentuate the so-called head bump or the resonant peak in the low end, as we see here. This is the default calibrated frequency response curve of the vintage tape machine. And that little bump around 50 Hertz goes a long way to explaining why we find tape so warm sounding. And as we turn it up, we see this really spikes. It's kind of like the push-pull trick on a Pultec EQ. 
A steep low cut with a resonant boost that keeps bass sounding warm, but clean and under control. And the high emphasis is similar. Back in the day, pre-emphasis or high-end boosting was done before tape because engineers knew that they would lose some of it during recording. This mimics that phase and can be boosted to add a nice high-end sheen and is the other way you can compensate for the lack of high-end when using 15 or 7 IPS speeds. So the bottom line with vintage tape is that it's mostly a subtle plugin that you'll want to insert first in your mastering chain to get that little harmonic boost. Sure, you can drive it hard, and I enjoyed using this plugin on individual tracks like drum and bass. But I think the intention here was to provide an extremely classy, professional tape machine for mastering. And Ozone 10 delivers. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, mix well. 